So let's create some new files in Photoshop. I already have Photoshop open and we have this splash screen. I'm just going to press the new file button and that brings up the new document dialog box. For this file, uh, we're going to go over to this set of tabs here and I'll just click on this uh, photo tab, uh, which gives us some normal photographic sizes. Uh, we'll start with the default Photoshop size and then make some changes. So right here, uh, we have a width of seven inches and five inches. I'd like to do this as 800 pixels by 800 pixels. So one thing to do first is change your unit of measurement. So from inches, we wanna change that to pixels. And you'll notice that suddenly we have bigger numbers than before. Um, so if we had stayed with inches and then typed in 800 by 800, and then thought, oh no, I mean, uh, I want this to be pixels. Then we change it to pixels thinking, okay, whoo, good, I caught that. Now we're creating a super huge image because it's converting from inches to pixels for us. It's doing the math and it's saying, oh, this is what you want, right? Uh, no, obviously not. So um, change the unit first, then put in the numbers, 800 by 800. And uh, since this is a screen resolution, we'll just go ahead and make sure that we set the resolution to 72. And RGB color is fine. Uh, let's change the background contents to transparent. And then everything else is good. Press create, and there we go. Okay, so that was easy. Let's mix it up a little bit. Uh, a lot of people that work in uh, the photographic world like to uh, have artboards so they can work on the project with slight variations uh, of each one. Or, you know, they like to have, instead of having multiple Photoshop files open, they want to have just a canvas with uh, multiple um, artboards on them. So I'll show you how to set that up. Let's uh, pretend like we're creating a landscape series. So um, once again, I just close that file. That brings us back to the splash screen. I'll press the new file button again. And then this time we'll go to print and we'll choose a letter. And then normally it's eight and a half by 14, uh, but I want the width to be 14. I could of course type that, but I'm too tired. Uh, so what I can do instead is I'll just press this orientation button and it'll flip the numbers for me. Great. Now it's wide and we're ready to go. Um, let's see, anything else we could change here? Oh yeah, you know what? We don't actually need 300 pixels per inch. Uh, we'll just do 150. And um, the important setting for this time is we're going to enable artboards. We just have to check that button there. Um, Anything else we need? No, we'll do, uh, we'll leave this as white, that's fine. And then press create. Okay, and you'll notice right here, we have a few changes. Uh, over in the layers panel, it has an artboard and then a single layer in it. Over here on the main document, you'll see, oh, it says artboard, and then it has, you know, this is where we could do our art. If we want multiple artboards, uh, we can generate them very easily. Uh, just go up to this first tool here, which is normally the move tool, and then you want to long click on it. So you click and hold on it, and then go over to this menu and choose artboard tool. Now, when you click on the name, you'll see we now have these plus signs all around our first artboard. This allows us to add multiple artboards to our canvas. Um, so let's do one on top, and then we'll do one to the side, and then one to the bottom. And then I want to see all of them all at once. So on my computer keyboard, I'm pressing Command-0. Alrighty, now we have four artboards set up in Photoshop, ready to go.